Hello everyone. Today I wanted to make a video on the power of the vision board. Why you should make one and then like how to make one. We all have goals that we want to reach and a vision board is the perfect way to put your dreams, your goals into a visual representation. A vision board, vision board, actually means a board of your visions of you in the future and what you want in life. Having your own vision board is just more of a concrete way to bring together all your goals and aspirations and where you see yourself in the future and make it into something physical so whenever you look at it, you're reminded to keep going, to keep doing what you're doing so then you can reach your goals. So yes, very exciting. So throughout the years of making vision boards, I've learned three tips that I wanted to share with you so that when you make your vision board, it can work. These tips make sure that your board and those visions on it actually come to life. Because if you just make it and then you give no meaning to it or anything like, and if you don't change the way that you're thinking about it when you look at it, they're less likely to work. I'm not gonna say they're not gonna work, but I have three tips for what you should keep in mind when you're making, looking, and like visualizing yourself from your vision board. Tip number one, things first need to be real in your mind before they can be real in your real life. So all these things that you're putting on your vision board, you have to like know it deep down within you that it's gonna happen. You can't have any doubt that these things aren't gonna come into reality because any like micro bit of doubt will slow the process or it might even not make your visions come to life. So you have to trust yourself and know that you're gonna get what you want because you know it's gonna happen. Tip number two is when you look at your vision board, you should really visualize yourself doing the steps that you need to get to your goals and then you actually living your goals. And when you talk to yourself or you like journal about your goals, make sure everything is written in the present tense because it gives it more of that oomph that you're actually living it. You trick your subconscious mind to think that you already have it, so it's gonna happen even more. It happens faster. So you saying everything in the present tense just helps the world and your mind make sure that it actually happens. Cause it will, it will. Tip number three is to stop pointing out all those things that you don't have in your life or just pointing out all those negativities. Like, oh, I don't have smarts or I, I'm not strong enough, I'm not tall enough, I don't have enough endurance to do all this. Or like, you know, you have a certain goal and you tell yourself all these why you can't but that's just gonna push you even further away from reaching what you want to reach. So stay positive in those thoughts that you have of yourself and like know that you can, that you will, and that you have gotten your goals. Cause they're happening. For me, having a vision board helps fill in those extra steps of visualization manifestation because like we all know that visualizing yourself doing your goals and what you want is very powerful, but having a board with those visions like artistically placed just helps give me a reminder of what I want in life. And just having a board is like that puzzle piece that puts it all together, that concrete thing of what you want and what you're gonna get. So how long, how long into my goals become reality. So you need to have patience. Um, you cannot put a time to how long it will take for your vision board to actually happen. Like it's not like one day you put it on your board, you take a little picture and you go Tch. and the next day you get it. Like everything comes when it's supposed to come. Everything is a time process. And if you rush to try to get something when it's not supposed to happen, like like you're not supposed to get it in that time. Everything comes in due time. So 
also with these goals that you have, like, yes, always remember them, like every day, if you know, if you want to look at your board and envision yourself, you don't have to every day, but if you want to, but then also another thing is to not become overly obsessed with your goals. Like you need to be able to acknowledge it, set that intention with yourself and know it, but then in a way just let it go. Let it happen with its time and don't and don't like obsess over it that it changes your thought process of it cuz then you end up rushing things. Let everything happen how it's supposed to happen cuz you don't you don't know how it's going to happen. You just know it's going to come. What do you need to create your vision board? So number one, you need to be in a good mind space, a good energy time for yourself. So when I make my boards, <laughs> I like to get comfy, get me some PJs, make a good cup of tea, you can like listen to some good music, put some like incense going, and just like relax yourself and get ready. <laughs> So number two is to take a moment to yourself and really think about what do I want in so-and-so time frame or not even in a time frame. Like what are your goals? Like what is your dream life? Like, like really sit down with yourself, think about it. Like what does it feel like when you're there? What do you see? What are you doing? What are you wearing? Who are you with? What do you smell? Like all all that goodness like put yourself in your own storyline and like think about that story because then you got to take like snippets of it and put it into pictures for your board but yeah really set that intention and like come with yourself to know what you want know what you want from your future step number three is get some poppin pics so for me I love using Pinterest. Pinterest is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So I go on Pinterest and like type in the things that like I want to put on my board. So like, oh, sewing, fashion creation, like smiles, that type of thing. And then just like go through those pictures and save the ones that you want on your board, like save it directly to your laptop hard phone, whatever hard drive you have, and then, you know, get them all ready. For step number four is you can either like print all your pictures and go get a poster board and some glue and glitter and scissors and all that so you can make your own physical board. Like usually I would like to make my own physical board. I like using my hands to create things, but I didn't want to go buy all the supplies. And then I don't have a printer either. So I was like, how am I gonna, am I gonna go pay to get these pictures printed? Nah, it's okay. I'm gonna make a digital vision board, which then like I'm gonna set as my laptop home screen. Cause that is something that you look at every day. Step number five, kind of, is to then arrange all your pictures in the way that you want them to be displayed. So for me, since I'm doing it digitally, I use Canva, which is free and very easy to use, but you can also use like Adobe and Photoshop and all that jazz. But I use Canva because it's, it's what I know how to use the best. Saved all my photos, and I just arranged them all nice and pretty onto my board. Then once you have your board saved, next step six is to put your board somewhere you will see it every day or somewhere you can go to see it every day. So for me last year, like I just saved my vision board in my Google Drive and I would go look at it every day because I didn't want to save it like as my lock screen or something. Cause I didn't want people to be like looking at my dreams and then asking me about it but yes this year it don't matter it's whatever all of you are seeing it anyway so yeah i'm just gonna save it as my lock screen put it 
wherever you want it, wherever is best for you. So yes, vision boards are cool. Let me know what are some things that you plan on putting in your board that you want to manifest for the next coming year or years or whatever you want to manifest in your life. And if you don't want to tell me, it's okay. Like, it's whatever. Just tell me. You can tell me hi in the comments and I'll tell you hi back. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you got some inspo to make your own vision board to help manifest your things into reality. And please use those tips I gave you so that you set that intention really in your head. Like the video and subscribe to help some of my dreams on my vision boards, my goals come to life. So you subscribing will help me reach my goals. And I appreciate you and I thank you for that. So yeah, like the video, subscribe again, like it again. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.